continuing our test three review of the physics bootcamp. We have arrived at problem number five. Um, problem five says the original temperature of a gas is 20 degrees Celsius. You heat up the gas so that the average kinetic energy of the molecules rises by a factor of two. What would its final temperature be? Okay. So this kind of question with kinetic energy and temperature, heating up gases, you got to be very careful because it's in uh, degrees Celsius. You got to convert to Kelvin. So this is one of those tricky things. The equation is that the average kinetic energy of molecules, okay, per molecule is equal to three halves kT. This is a Boltzmann constant times T. This is equal to one half m b squared average, we write it this way, v squared average is equal to 3 halves kT. <coughs> okay, so if the average kinetic energy of a molecule, okay, is uh, in this case the average kinetic energy um, doubles basically, right? The average, average kinetic energy rises by a factor of two. So this whole thing doubles by a factor of two, okay? So what happens to its temperature? The average kinetic energy doubles. Well, that means the temperature will double, right? So um, the temperature also doubles, right? But it doubles in degrees Kelvin, not in Celsius, right? In uh, Kelvin. So what we have to do is uh, find the initial temperature in uh, Kelvin. Remember, it's uh, Celsius plus 273.15. So whatever the Celsius is, you gotta convert to Kelvin. 20 plus 273.15 gives you 293.15. So Forget about the fact that the temperature is 20. Now the real temperature is 293. Now we've got to double the 293. 293.15 double. So the final temperature in Kelvin is 586.3 Kelvin, right? Then what you have to do, you have to convert back to Celsius Right? The final temperature in Celsius is 586.3 minus 273.15. Well, of course, that's going <coughs> to... So you're going to have... The original temperature was 20. So then it was 293. 293 doubled, 586. 586 minus 273. And then you have 313. 0.5 Celsius. So if the original gas is 20 degrees Celsius, you double the kinetic energy of the molecules, the final temperature will be 313 and a half Celsius. Okay? And that is the answer, 313. What if the question said like this? The original temperature of a gas is 20 degrees Celsius. You heat up the gas so that the average velocity of the molecules rises by a factor of two. The average velocity of the molecules, okay? What will its final temperature be? Well, kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared, right? The average of the squares. So if the average velocity doubles, that means what's gonna happen to the kinetic energy? Square that, right? Velocity squared. So if the velocity doubles and you square the double, you get what? A four. So what happens to the kinetic energy? It multiplies by a factor of four. Why? Two squared. You see, two squared. You get four. The kinetic energy quadruples. So what's gonna happen to the, new, uh, the uh, final temperature? Well, you're gonna have to take the initial temperature, multiply it by a factor of four. 293.15 times 4, you get 1172.6. Uh, 
<coughs> so final temperature would be 1172.6. Then you convert that back to Celsius. You get 899.45 Celsius, right? So the doubling the velocity has much more of an effect than doubling the kinetic energy because doubling the velocity, you are quadrupling the kinetic energy, right? So a problem, you have to read it very carefully, whether the velocity is doubling or whether the kinetic energy. The problem can say, what if the velocity uh, of the molecules rises by a factor of three? If the velocity rises by a factor of three, what happens to the kinetic energy? The kinetic energy multiplies by a factor of nine, okay? So then you have to put here, convert, uh, convert from uh, Celsius to Kelvin, multiply by a factor of nine, get the answer, and then uh, convert back to Celsius again, okay? So you have to read the problem very carefully, make sure to convert to Kelvin, and then make sure whether or not it's the velocity that's changing or the kinetic energy, okay? Thank you.